Who's ready for some mystery boxes from Isabel's favorite YouTuber? <laughs> and Panini's. Here we go. That was a long intro. It was a long intro. I was about to go, so you see me on camera go, <laughs> like, you know, like Sonic, have you ever played Sonic where he tries to grab the air bubble when he's on the way that, ah, ah. <laughs> that was no, me. because my parents didn't let me play video games growing up. What's going on everybody? Happy Friday! Thank God it's Friday. It's been such a long week, so we are so excited to be back. We are opening up some great mystery boxes today from the one, the only, Professor Josh. If you guys aren't subscribed to go pre to Professor Josh, go check him out. He's the best. Go check him out. Josh is the man. And before we do that, we have some great food to eat and review for you guys. Do you remember uh, the name of the place? Uh, Rena's. So we got food from this place, downtown Boston, uh, Italian place. Uh, they got pizza, um, pasta, paninis. Basically, if it's Italian and it starts with a P, they probably make it. Um, and their name is Rena's. Yeah, so. we're trying a whole bunch of local places. Yeah, local. So. All right, what did you get us? I'm excited. So I got the chicken parmesan panini as well as the meatball one. So okay. we'll try them out here. The place smelled so good. So good. So here, this is the presentation. This is what it looks like. Unboxing the panini here. <laughs> nice. Hope everybody's having a great Friday so far. We are excited. We got a lot of great content on the horizon. Hopefully, there is a box of fun in our future because I don't know what Funko's doing. I, I don't know. Coming. I know, it's, it's not right. coming, I don't know. All right, I have the chicken parm. I have the meatball parm. You have the meatball. All right, all right, this is pretty interesting. It's like thin bread. It's not like super thick oh, sub bread. Oh, it's not zooming. Our camera is not zooming. Oh, not zooming? No. I gotta there figure it go. out. Oh, okay. There it's we zoomed go. for you oh, here. Oh man, that looks so good. You wanna show them The mine? meat, the balls. All right, here we go. Chill out, Mario. <laughs> Look at that. That's big. It's hefty. All right, let's do it. Oh my god. We're, we're Where do some, you start? We're going to have some greasy pops after this. I think I'm going to start with this half because that half looks serious. Oh, this is very serious. That meatball is, in, is huge. That's not even a meatball. So they, they doubled up here. Um, we got two patties, not just one two patties here and uh it's amazing this is good there's a big meatball i like how the bread isn't too thick you know like a big fat sandwich i like how it's thin it's skinny it's like a it's fluffy it's kind of like a sourdough kind of feel um i kind of wish the meatball wasn't so big. I wish I had like little meatballs. Little meatballs? All right, here, we'll switch. Now you go chicken parm. Let me see what these big you know, meatballs you are You know I about. love me some chicken. Chicken anything. Yeah. Oh. I see what you mean. It's such a big sandwich. Or it's such a small sandwich, but the meatballs are huge. Yeah. Oh. This is where it's at. That is where it's at. This is good. Don't get me wrong. This is good. The meatball itself mm. is very good. It's just, it's very big. Mmm. Oh, we got napkins? Yeah. We're, we're serious YouTubers now. We can afford napkins. <laughs> no, I took these from the last restaurant that gave us napkins. <laughs> That's what I thought. All right. One to ten. What do you think? Um... Six and a half for the meatballs. Okay. And nine and a half for the chicken parm. All right, I'll I'll, I'll concur with that. I'll get the meatball. That's a little bit mean though. Six and a half. You know what it is? I'll go seven on the meatball. It's because right. it's so big. Like it kind of. It's crazy because it's so big. It kind of loses a lot of flavor in the middle. Yeah. So it's just like you're biting into like ground beef. Yeah. I, so if it was like little ones, they would all have like. Own Definitely seasoning. mini meatballs, or at least this meatball, I feel like cut up or ground up would be good. 
If you guys have ever had a panini, let us know down in the comment section below. And if you have a, a favorite flavor or something that you like to get. Aren't paninis supposed to be like smaller so you don't have to get a huge sandwich? I don't know. Maybe this restaurant, they just like to do them a little bit bigger. I mean, each one was $10. So I feel like, you know. You're definitely getting your money's worth. You're getting your worth money's worth for, for your $10. Bucks, so. Yeah. But anyway, guys, stick with us. We are going to finish up our food here. And then we're going to be busting open some mystery boxes from Professor Josh. All right. So we are back. And we both have a mystery box from Professor Josh. Now, normally I'm pretty prepared and on time. Today, I am neither. I have no idea how much this box costs. Um, anything with Professor Josh's name on it, I just click buy. I don't even know what it is. I don't know how much my account I was charged. I think they were $60. 60 sounds right. 60 sounds right. We bought we bought them off of uh, one of his oh, recent look, whatnot Joanna auctions. Now. So this was the one that I bought, number 11. Yeah. Uh, so we decided to switch just because I've been winning a lot of battles lately. Well. So I decided to give John. Oh, that's right. We're keeping score now. Yes. So this matters. Yes. And the other ones didn't matter, but I was winning all the other ones. <laughs> now it matters. Now, now we're keeping matters. track. Okay. So I won the last there one. There are no participation trophies allowed. Um, so I gave John my number, so hopefully he can win today. All right. Uh, AKA the coolest people on the planet. Wait, uh, does that have cool. our house address? No. That's us. That's us. Unless he's pointing at himself. Oh, then. no, that's actually, that's not our address. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, anyway, like I said, guys, no idea how much this costs, but we're just going to bust them open and see what we get. We'd love to support other members of the community and especially other members of Pop Force One. All right. Cool. And these boxes are Industry. pretty sturdy. You good? This is like an old school gem pops oh. box. Oh, does it say it here? Oh, yes, right. $60 box. Oh, perfect. Guaranteed $55. Three pops and one soda. Nice. 50 total boxes. Okay, very cool. All right. You want to do the soda first? Let's do the soda oh, first. Oh, there's a soda? There's a soda. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Is it sealed or is it open? What do you think? It's open. That's okay. Oh, Miguel! Nice. It's like, like they know. I got the tick. If it'll zoom, probably won't. I got Miguel. All right, let's see here. Now, I don't know if there was any chases in the run. I don't, I'm not sure. That's okay. Just the common. Just the common. You Just can never have too tick. many Miguels. That's true. Look at that. That's true. I don't know if it's zooming. Take my face out of there. Hopefully it's zoomed. <laughs> All right. He's such an awesome, awesome soda. Dude, yeah. you're so awesome. And you're missing a tooth, dude. It's the best. Yeah. It's the best. All right. I'm going to pull out my first pop. My first pop went a little like this. <laughs> and we have Captain Adam from last year's WonderCon. And now at the top here, it does say a price, but we'll double check it because we bought this box a while ago. Oh, I have a... You have a what? I have a hard sack, but it's a, it's a Futura pop. Oh, okay. I think because it has the plastic on it. Okay. Unless he just gave you a hard stack, an empty hard stack. I don't know. And they're like wrapped. You know when you buy hard stacks in the store and they're, they're wrapped? wrapped? Yeah. All right. So my first pop is, is this a droid? Oh, it's oh, a droid. Oh, you love the droids. Nice. Uh, That's a good one. M5 R3, the red droid. Do we have this one? We do, yes. Uh, we do have that one. That was one of the ones you made me go get, like right away oh, for you. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I did all. Sorry, you're yeah. um, Dude, yay. Yeah. All right. Next pop I have, oh, Harley Quinn. From Birds of Prey, if it'll zoom in here. No, it doesn't want to zoom in. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Not, okay. My there next goes. pop is, oh, we, Fortnite. We just got wa done watching The Suicide Squad, but we never saw Birds of Prey. Never saw that one. Oh, Fortnite. Everybody loves pulling the Fortnite. I want to get that new Skull Trooper Freddy Funko. 
I'm not a big Fortnite guy, but this I think that Freddy cheap. This is cool. Looks cool. Tell me that's not an awesome out of yeah, box. Yeah, no, that, that's really cool. Uh, even in box. I like the green box. All right, my last pop, and it is in a sorter. Oh. So, could be something good. Hopefully, it says Vietnam on the front. I don't know what that means. And it is, oh, this is the Mech Strike Glow in the Dark Hulk. And this is a Funko Shop exclusive. So, very cool. Very nice. Okay. And my last pop. Is it zooming? No, no. it's not zooming today. There we go. All right. So, I we'll look up prices the... at the end. And my last pop star. Just taking out the... These are good boxes. We're going to reuse these. Oh, oh. nice. Art series. Batman. You like these? You I like do. These? I do like those. I do like those. Yes. Yeah, really digging the art series was... Freddy's. I want to put my art series Freddy's with my art series Batman's. So, all right, not bad. So, give us one more minute, guys. We're gonna go tally up all of our prices, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we are back, and before we tell you guys how we did on our duel, we have to put another great member of the community on our community Stanley Cup. And uh, we're really excited about this person um, because they made something very special for us. And uh, it was because of some of our great friends uh, who initiated the project and uh, it came out amazing. So the person that we're putting on the cup today is JT Customs. So he makes some great soda display products, and uh, he also engraved this incredible hard stack. And uh, you guys gotta check this out. It's absolutely amazing. So it's a custom hard stack with our logo on it. And uh, not sure if you guys can tell, but that's our John and Joanna logo. And then he put, don't stop shooting until you score. And uh, I couldn't think of a more appropriate pop to put in the pop armor than none other than the Siberian Husky pop, just because Alex is a valued member of our family. And uh, I was so excited when I found out they made a Siberian Husky pop. So I had to go throw it in the armor because this is like our little, this is like our channel in, in a nutshell. You know, we have all our logos, our family, um, our slogan, and of course our dog right there. Um, doesn't get any better than that. So he doesn't fit. So I that's put okay. Him up here. So JT Customs, thank you so much, Teresa, Anthony. Thank you once again for helping us out and uh, getting a great gift over into our collection. Truly priceless. And uh, now we got JT on the cup where he belongs. Nice. All right, so now getting down to our prices. Uh, so I'll go first. I first up, I had Captain Adam, and he's coming in at thirteen dollars. Uh, next up, I had Harley Quinn, and she's coming in at nineteen dollars. And then the last pop I had was the Funko Shop exclusive Mech Strike Hulk. He's coming in at twenty-two dollars. And uh, we also looked up the value of the sodas, and the Tick Soda is coming in at $14, giving me a total of $68. All right. So my Star Wars M5, he came out to $10. Uh, let me know if it's not zooming. <laughs> uh, Rex from Fortnite, he came out to also $10. There you go. Oh, my Sorry. Little arm. I know. <laughs> I was Here, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. It's not going anymore. And then your artist series, Batman. He came out to $34. Nice. And then my soda, he came out to $14. Which gave you a total of? 68. So, for the first time in a while, we tied. We got the exact same number in terms of value. So that means we got to have a tiebreaker. So tonight on our live stream at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, come over back to our channel for John and Joanna Live. We actually have a great show for you guys tonight. We're going to be opening up a ton of fan mail that's been building up. So huge shout out to all you guys in the community who have sent over some packages. We're going to be unboxing those and we're also going to be doing a little tiebreaker to settle who is taking home today's point? Because every point matters, and I will win. 
I will do whatever it takes to win. So, but I'm not competitive or anything. Like it's it's like whatever, you know. But I have to win, you know. <laughs> you have so, issues. I know. I, I don't have issues. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed today's battle, today's food. Um, let us know down in the comments section which pop was your favorite, and uh, we hope to see you guys on our live stream tonight. You want to take us out? Don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you guys tonight.